W, man, yeah. wholeheartedly. Let's go ahead and jump right into game number one, though. I want to get right into it. As I said, the cat, you know, for a quick second, they were highlighted over uh, Joker and Piranha Plan. I was getting hyped. I thought they were going to try some DLC uh, team combo stuff. But it seems like they're not about that life. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep it simple, playing their their usual characters outside of uh, Pichu. And the cat definitely can drop the nest. But I think the Pichu and teams could be uh, pretty big. Mm -hmm. Depending yeah. on uh, how the team, you know, how the team flows between these two guys. Uh, on the other side, though, we have Krom, uh, you know, by Mr. R. So, honestly, I feel like I haven't seen a lot of Krom and or uh, Roy play as of late. I think at the beginning of the game, there's a lot of that. But uh, we have the sole survivor, pretty much, of Mr. R popping this character off every now and then. So, oh, okay. okay. Comes dash right in with the dash tracks, right, man. You got to gotta create some space, man, as quickly as possible. I like that, man. The cat always on the money there with the right punish. Beautiful stuff. And you see right now kind of retreating, kind of pulling to me last night. Like, that. that's how you reset neutral. You just jump off stage. Yeah, I'm out, bro. <laughs> I'm out, bro. See ya. Yeah, I mean, that's. I feel like that's the way that the cat's going to uh, play, too. He is uh, by far the lightest character on, on the screen uh, and is susceptible to kind of losing stocks in those, those weird team scrambles. Wow, that shield is looking a minuscule. Was not going to be able to block that next one, so. Okay. okay. Smart oh. stuff right there by Daybreak. Trying to cover the get up option. Back off to the left there with the upper, man. Really good hitbox here on the upper, man. Stays active for a while, too. Can catch air dodges pretty well. Yeah. Good catch right there from Daybreak, though. Make sure he doesn't uh, get the full Thunder uh, drag now, at the very least. So, the cat actually missed the Thunder anyway, but just in case, uh, he at least wouldn't have hit himself and got the extra damage. So, finally losing that first stock. Looks like we had a pretty decently even game uh, until that point happened. Uh, we losing that stock here from Mr. R. Mr. R still needed to find the stock off of Cosmos as well, too, man. So Cosmos looking pretty healthy of his 108. That's right. That's really smart right there by Mr. R as well, too, to kind of go for the uh, the, the two-on-one as opposed to dealing with uh, with Cosmos off stage. And obviously, you know, you hit anything off stage. It's going to be a while before that character gets back. So yeah. Why, why waste time? You know, Krom doesn't really traditionally want to find himself off stage in too many exchanges anyway. Yeah. Force the 2v1, get that damage, and then do work. Smart stuff right there by Daybreak. Beautiful. You got a bit of a... Bit of a back and forth going on over there as well, too, man. Even as great as Daybreak has been kind of playing throughout the entirety of the set, he still finds himself down here on his final stock, so he has some he has some ground here to make up. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Cosmos Jeez, kind of uh, taking it to Daybreak right now on the geez. right side. Meanwhile, we have uh, Mr. R also stuck off the ledge here by Nakat. Finally gets back on stage, but getting pushed right back over there with that back air from Cosmos. So. That's right. It, okay. Yeah, it's looking really a little rough right now for the red team. Yeah. Not undoable, but I mean at the same time, Daybreak's already oh. at ninety-seven percent on his last stock, so and we're looking pretty healthy on the on the second stock for oh nice read uh, on both of uh, the oh, yellow right. team right now. So and that has to be super frustrating for a character like Palutena as you come right in, try to grab Pichu, and you know, Pichu sometimes can just kind of maneuver out of the way of some of those uh some of those grab attempts. And again, another back here once more. Try to catch him with the down tilt. Really strong combo starter and a combo finisher as well, too. But that's going to be all she wrote, man. Wonderful situation awareness right there from Cosmos. Just kind of cool as Jets. Obviously understand that, you know, Palutena can apply a lot of pressure at the ledge of the stage. But, yeah, you know, obviously if you stay solid, man, you'll be able to find that opening. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy, too. I, I just saw, like, Nakat got the, you know, the up throw thunder uh, KO. And uh, Daybreak went over there to try to get that F-Smash, but he apparently misspaced it enough to where he only got the win box. So that was unfortunate for him. And yet, that, wow, that was a beautiful splat bomb. Uh-huh. My man, my man was stuck all the way into it. He was like, you know what, man, you got See it. See, he had to pull a melee, man. <laughs> just, just go ahead and, and fire Fox to the blast zone, man. That's right. Still a pretty decent showing right there from the red team. I mean, you know, like we said before, Mr. R, obviously, you know, nothing short of great. Like, I mean, obviously, you know, just looking back at his work just in Smash in general. You know, that's crazy, too. Not just Smash 4. Not Brawl, but just Smash in general, man. Obviously, this, this gentleman has had a pretty strong career. Daybreak, I'm sure, as well, is probably on the up and coming. But, uh... You know, just Krom and, and Palutena, I just feel like when you put those two types of characters together, Palutena is a character that's going to have to kind of cover Krom in a, in a couple few, uh, in a few areas. Obviously, Krom can clean up stocks really well, and he has no real issue putting on damage as well, too. But I just think when you're paired up against an Inkling and a Pichu, they could just really stick it to Krom because he's combo food, you know? Yeah, well, he's put that, he's put it away. Yeah. And so he put that joint away, put, uh, pull, pulling out the wolf. This is what we, this is what I know Daybreak for. So not to say that Palutena wasn't a... Uh, uh, a good rep. I'm sure he got a couple wins out there in, in pools or whatever with, uh, with it. But, you know, sometimes you got to bring the A game, the A-plus game. That happens to be his wolf. So let's see what this wolf does here in, uh, for the swap and if he's able to get himself a game or is going to be off or not as we uh, battle it out on Battlefield. Yeah. Hopefully, obviously, the name of the game is for Wolf to obviously to keep his feet planted on stage, you know, with how great the cat is of a player and just how strong he's. He's always been able to play off stage. I'm sure Wolf would be in some real trouble. But one thing I can say about Daybreak is that he's 
a pretty solid player all the way across the border. And if he can kind of take anything from his Palutena and apply it to his Wolfen, it's how well that Palutena stayed on stage. Oh, no. Oh, my. Wait a minute. Oh, oh yeah, no. That is so unfortunate. So, Mr. R actually got the – he did the roll-in, you know, the, like after 10 hits roll-in. Yeah. And then somehow just ended up off stage. And, yeah, that left in a perfect position for Cosmos to get the crate uh, – well, just an easy edge guard for him. He's like, you know what? I, I know you can't recover when I hit you with this double back air. I don't think he needed a second one. I think he was gone. He just wanted to secure it. Yeah, sometimes you can never be too safe, man, with uh, with Crom and uh, Crom, Roy, and, and Ike, man. I didn't hit him off stage a couple times. I'm like, there ain't no way he's going to be able to come back. And I'm like, how did you have enough gas to get back to the legend stage? I'm actually tight. Yeah. Okay, goes for the up smash. Now, see, this is actually really good right here for Daybreak because he doesn't really have to worry as much about, like, a, a combo confirm into a kill uh, option. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wolf is just a character. I mean, he does have some some confirms, but for the most part, after a while in the matchup, you're just tossing out hitboxes, man. Right? Like, you're wondering and really hoping that something's going to connect. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to keep it moving. Back on stage. We, just straight up getting back thrown right back off, so... Hey, good. Oh, wow. oh, he got hit by that. I thought, I thought he actually got off the ledge in time, but oh. nope. Okay, oh, oh, oh. wow, and he pulls down the wrong person. I mean, that was unfortunate. I like the idea that the cat was going for, though. Yeah. If he would have at least traded stocks, that would have been uh, great, but he did not trade that stocks. Only losing Cosmos. Cosmos down to his last stock already, but this is at that uh, point in the game where, like, technically, it's, like, pretty much even because... Or it's like a, it's like a seesaw type even. Because it's like right. there's three stocks on one side, but two high, two high percent stocks on the other side. So it's like, all right, man, if, if y'all both lose these stocks, then we're in the lead now. That's right. Okay, nice. And again, man, this ledge pressure you kind of touched on before has just been really, really good right here for my man Cosmo. Very aware of which way Mr. R is going to recover. So that's the thing about playing a character like Chrom. On stage, he kind of has the world at his fingertips. He can get kind of fancy. But, man, off stage, though, he only has a couple options before he actually has to use up special. And if you read it properly, he's cooked, man. Yeah. See, just it's like that, man. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. And they're getting the lead back with 93% uh, here on the cat. He's got to watch himself. Probably going to play the back line a little bit. Yeah. Being the lighter character. Still seemingly going in right as I said that, though. But it seemed like a safe dash tech. Almost. Okay, and even as strong as that option was right there from Cosmos a little bit ago, man. There's still with the slight deficit, man. And Krom, obviously, no sort of killing options as you see right now. Okay, yeah, actually, right though, both of this squad right here is uh, not, not short of kill options. You know, uh, Wolf has been told, uh, touted to get some early KOs, too, with these S-Mash and down smashes. And unfortunately, that is going to be the stock off of uh, Cosmos, but some decent damage already from the cat onto the other or the, the remaining uh, characters on the game. On the game, nice F tilt. Wait a minute. Okay. Nice stuff goes for the up special, and then because of the armor, he was actually able to just kind of truck through that. Yeah. So smart stuff, man. The thing about this is that even though, like, yeah, you know, the percents obviously tell one story. But at the end of the day, the story still ends with Pichu just being as light as ever, and these two characters right here. Oh no! Are, oh oh no. no! He ran into it. That is unfortunate for Mr. R. Now having to do this one on one at 124 already against Pichu. Yeah. Character has a lot of kill options right, right now as well. But at the same time, though, here at 47%, I think if he ends up getting like a down tilt, miss tech F smash, he could probably just win the game anyway. Yeah, most definitely. It's definitely super effective. See, now right there, there's a short hop there. Oh, I don't read it. He was oh. for, what the hell? Okay, he was looking for something off the ledge <laughs> of the stage. Like he was, he said, Look, I knew you're coming here, man. I'm not moving from this spot. I know I'm going to be able to find a KO. Yeah, I was like, he didn't look, didn't even need the down tilt there. He no. just, I'm going to keep swinging. <laughs> yeah. To that s fast the right way, he was like, oh, you ain't over here? Let me just see if you're on the left side. Got him. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Talk about uh, just staying solid, man, even when things weren't looking so hot for you. I mean, that was definitely uh, the cat's time to shine. And I, I know we say that the people in the chat are like, I mean, really? He was in a 2v1. I say, yeah, you know what I mean? At 30 40%. And your opponents are combo food. Like, you know, they're not only are they combo food, but they're characters that have linear recoveries as well back to the stage. Yeah. You can easily separate those two with short hop near at those percents. Take either Wolf or Crom off stage, hit him with a couple of hitboxes in their toes. Man, he's, he's actually really lucky he lived that down smash. I think if he hit, if he hit any part of that down smash uh, before the last hit, yeah, that might have been the stock right there, man. Yeah, Daybreak got sent. They pretty much got sent in the same angle, but he was uh, sent a little, I think, a little higher. So maybe his DI was just a little better than Daybreak's as well. Uh, yeah, he just... Managed to live that, take the game. So here we are in the game three. Um, Final day break. Mr. R taking that, that last game. So are we on, are we in three out of five territory right now? Uh, I don't believe so. Or, so I, think, I think we're still in two out of three. Yeah, it's so. winners, finals, losers, losers, semi. So yeah. So yeah, whoever wins this will be moving on to winners finals here. Yeah. Final destination, man. Very fitting. Very candid, man, to say the absolute least, man. Yeah. Both of these two sides definitely stuck in the end game right now, damn. man. But damn, day break, man. He said, look, I got the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> Let me watch you erase that stuff. <laughs> Definitely, definitely, definitely snapped on that Pikachu right now. That's that. <laughs>
<laughs> and what did you bring you back to me? Back That's what to I'm me. saying. And where did that bring you? <laughs> Could not live with your failure, <laughs> sir. Oh, nice. Okay, drifting back. I actually thought he might have drifted a little bit too far back right there, but obviously, you know, the thing about fighting like Wolf off stage, unlike uh, Fox and Falco, is like you still have to worry about side B. Like even if you are an advantage and you are in a good position to kill him, if you whiff anything and he tosses out side B, you're cooked. Yeah, I feel like England players don't do that, like that, that extra smooth movement at the end. Remember when they used to all like wave dash back after uh, after hitting um, or hitting the roller? Mm -hmm. They just get out of it now. Yeah, <laughs> just, just they got all, all got lazy. It's like you know, I'm, I don't I don't need this. I'm gonna yeah, just I'm gonna just let it rock, and then I'm gonna walk back and up smash you. What's up? They saved the fans just for week one. Oh yeah, that was enough to get him to round two, man. Okay, goes for the up here. Now, see, this is going to be really difficult sometimes for the red team, man, because, uh, like I said before, you know, obviously both members of the red team are very, very easy to combo, especially for a character like Inkley, who gets quite a bit, uh, you know, out of out of their throws. Um, and then you kind of add that to the fact that they're not being any platforms to even land comfortably. Prom and Wolf certainly get a lot off of platform extension, so you're going to be working for your money this go round. Nice, goes for the uh, not the side special, excuse me, but the up special, tilted downwards, man, getting his bayonet on. Yeah. That was a really smart option from on the cat too. He went for a back throw, which then ended up getting daybreak hit instead of him uh, as the start of the back throw animation started. So See good you. stuff. Oh, another back air, but it looks like he did keep his jump. Oh, oh wait a minute, you're coming with me. Nino Brown not going down by himself. Yeah, that is unfortunate. And taking that stock from daybreak though, I mean this is this is a hard third game for uh for the red team. Mr. R getting pushed a little too far out, and even though he did get the stock off of Cosmos, that was Cosmos' first stock, so Oh, and now wow. Daybreak's gone, so this is looking all but done, pretty much. Let's see what they can get off this team combo. Missing the uh, uh, neutral air there. Yeah, that was really awkward for Daybreak anyway. He was kind of stuck in between two active hitboxes. Okay. okay, here we go. Ping-ponging back and forth. I like this. Nice. Wow, the runoff and immediately right into the up special, man. Some tricky stuff right there for Mr. R, but when you're in a 2v1, you got to pull out all the tricks, man. You got to get to David Blaine and Chris Angel on, all right? That was almost a really good uh, F smash, too. I think he was... Okay, oh, I like that. B-reverse action. Get off me. Mr. R, Mr. R got a, he might actually be able to at least get a stock here, so. Yeah. Juke. Okay. Burned oh. a lot of ink off of that roller. I mean, he's going to have to recharge, but unfortunately for Mr. R, uh, you know, he is stuck in the 2v1, so charging up. Oh, yeah, you're done. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> got him, though. Yeah. I, that's all he wanted. <laughs> that's, that's like, you know what? I said I was going to take a stock. There it is. Got him. So, yeah, unfortunately uh, for the, for Mr. R and Daybreak, they will be hitting that loser bracket, but does not mean they